Hello, everybody, and welcome to the session when the community speak for themselves, how bring knowledge equity into policy discussions and advocacy activities. My name is Lily Iliev. I am the head of the team politics and public sector at Wikimedia Deutschland. And I will talk um, five to 10 minutes now about the initiative of a knowledge equity audit and give you a little bit of context about what we already do at Wikimedia Deutschland, especially in the politics team on knowledge equity and also why we came up now with the idea of having a knowledge equity audit for policy and advocacy work specifically on the EU level. Then uh, my colleague Anna Maskal will take over, who is in Singapore with you right now. She is the executive director of Wikimedia Europe. And she will take uh, over and go through the specifics of the audit with you and have an open discussion afterwards about your experiences, your expectations, and what you think about this audit. So let's get started. As you know, the idea of knowledge equity is one of the fundamentals to the 2030 Wikimedia strategy. And at Wikimedia Deutschland, and specifically also on the politics team, we do incorporate this goal into various projects already. So here are two of the examples of projects dedicated to fostering knowledge equity at Wikimedia Deutschland. Some of my colleagues uh, are organizing a specific program to support knowledge equity. It's called Reshape, a program to support knowledge equity. And it's specifically there for individuals, initiatives, and communities that experience racism. So it's specifically for people who are marginalized as a result of structural racism. They get funding to spread marginalized knowledge using free licenses and free knowledge platforms such as Wikipedia, Wikimedia Commons, and Wikidata. Here you can see the board of trustees of this program. So we did not come up with the concept um, by ourselves, since uh, we are a majority white team in a white organization. So we do have this three-person committee that has supported the program team in devising the program. They will also continue to provide the support throughout the course of the program and will select which program, which projects will receive funding in line with the selection criteria that they also helped defining. You can learn more about this wonderful program um, talking to my colleagues Riham and Anna, who are also in Singapore uh, this year. The second example is our discussion series, Knowledge Power Equity. So we organize um, discussion rounds together with Deutschlandfunk Kultur, which is the largest uh, radio station in the German speaking area. And um, in moderated discussion rounds with three guests, we are talking about each an issue from the spectrum of knowledge equity. Uh, Deutschlandfunk is broadcasting these discussion rounds and then we have the podcast for further communication for spreading the word in the communities and just um, fostering um, more conversations on knowledge equity. The topics that we ch um, choose come from the spectrum of knowledge equity. Here are some examples. Um, one episode was about if we need a feminist digital policy and if yes, what would that look like? We were talking about uh, bigger accessibility for uh, people with disabilities on the internet. We were talking about um, a decolonial shift in museums and glam institutions, and also about the visibility of knowledge by Roma people or Romnia and Sintisa as they're called in Germany. So these are some specific examples of projects addressing knowledge equity. But as you know, many discussions in the last year resulted in better defining what could be knowledge equity, what we could do as Wikimedians to foster knowledge equity. But many members of our communities also ask questions about applying knowledge equity in practice into their strategic work. So our objective of the audit is to evaluate opportunities as well as challenges in reshaping EU public policy work and practices around advocacy for knowledge equity impact in the EU and in the whole Wikimedia movement. 
So in order to do so, we are now carrying out a comprehensive audit of our work, identifying missed opportunities, blind spots, and recommending necessary processes and capacities to align with this objective. And how this audit is structured and how we organize it, um, this is something that uh, Anna Maskal is talking about more now. So over to you, Anna, and thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs>